Kiss Pop and Banner? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hello to Carrie Ann Nava. Carrie Ann Nava, good morning. How are you? Morning. Doing well. How are you guys doing? Fan- good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Is, is show day a little bit a little bit different than than just like the practice days? Because obviously, I mean, there's it, obviously you're not doing the show until later on, but it's like a whole day process to get ready, right? Yeah, yes, it's a whole day. I mean, I think for the contestants, it's a big day, and it's, like, nerve-wracking. But then for the judges, all we do is we show up about 11 o'clock, we go into hair and makeup, we have a meeting, we kind of go over some things, and then it's showtime at 5 o'clock, West Coast time. Wow. Oh, wow. That's that's pretty easy. That's, yeah. you got a but sweet... call time. I always look at the call sheet, and I see, like, the dancers are coming in at 6 a.m. Like, they're already there right now, getting ready, hair and makeup, because then they have to go through a camera blocking and then a dress rehearsal. Well, uh, Carrie Ann and all the dancing with the stars on ABC. Uh, follow her on Twitter at Carrie Ann and Abba. Um, you got a pretty sweet gig then. I mean, you get to show up. You know, they, do they now? Do you show I have up? No complaints. I love. My no. I get to watch dancing. I get to talk about dancing. It's been my whole life dancing. I mean, really. And you really don't have to go into work until <laughs> eleven. That's a luxury. <laughs> hang with That's something I forgot about. <laughs> Something I miss. <laughs> wow, she is really jealous right now, Carrie. <laughs> I know. You miss those auditions, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, now, I know a lot of women are curious. Do you, uh, is that your own wardrobe? Do they f- give you stuff to wear? Do you get to keep it afterward? What's the deal with that stuff? A combo, because I can't do anything the same ever, like the one from one day to the next. So sometimes I have the de- designers drop off a whole bunch of dresses, and I'll love one. Sometimes they'll drop off things, and, and although they're beautiful, they don't quite match how I feel, because when I'm judging, I have to feel really confident. Right. And if I don't, I feel like goofy. Like, I mean, I have to, you know, I'm up there passing judgment on people. You got to feel really confident in your own shoes. So sometimes I'll bring my own dresses. There was one week I had to dance and I was like, oh my God, you know, just like any other dancer, I got all paranoid. Like, oh, this is too short. This is too long, whatever. So I went out and bought my own dress for that one. And then I took it to wardrobe and then they added some things to make it nice. And it's, it's really a mishmash of things, but I do work with a stylist and it's really fun. It is so much. I love choosing the jewelry the most. What's your what's what's been your favorite piece of jewelry then? Oh my god, uh, the ones I stole. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's no, great. I mean, the ones I borrowed. <laughs> Hypothetically, allegedly. Yeah, just uh, saying. Well, then here's the thing: like for for red carpets and premieres and uh, and award shows, uh, jewelers will lend out and let celebrities borrow the jewelry to wear on camera and for the event. But then you have to give it back. Is it the same kind of a thing for like when you're judging and stuff too? Very expensive stuff. They loan it out to me, and then sometimes some of the you know the nice jewelers will give me gifts and. They'll let me keep some of them. But obviously, if it's really expensive, they just loan it out. It's the same as some of the gowns. Like, those gowns can be up to, like, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. And you just buy wow. them day. And, you know, what are you going to do? You're not really going to wear a gown. I don't, I don't, in my private life, besides red carpet events, I don't wear gowns. <laughs> well, no. Well, <laughs> it's like going to prom. You're only going to wear that dress once. That's right. <laughs> well, aren't you afraid of, like, spilling something on it or, like, breaking wind in it or something? That would be me. I, I mean, that would seriously. Be me. You know what I mean? I'd ruin it. One year on my way to the Emmys, I had the worst day. So I, I, like, slicked back my hair in a ponytail. I went into the closet just as I was ready to go. And my boyfriend's fishing pole, like, fell on my head. And the hook got caught in my hair. Oh, no. Pulled my hair totally out. Like, I had a little bald spot. And then then right after I fixed that, then my dress broke because it was a vintage. So I'll never wear vintage again. It just broke. Like, I don't know. It just disintegrated into midair. I changed into another dress, got into the car. was like, okay, I'm done. Let's have a glass of champagne. Spilt the champagne all over the front of my dress. Oh, Oh no! Wow! It sounds like me because I have the worst luck with anything. Like I can't wear white. Like I refuse to wear white. If I wear white, I'll get anything on it. Yeah, your Emmy date sounds like Banis Tuesday. <laughs> yep. That no, in my everyday. That's- <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, <laughs> Carrie Adenaba in the uh, on the Lennon Jewelers Hotline, Dancing with the Stars on ABC. Follow her on Twitter at Carrie Adenaba. Uh Was it difficult to go from three judges to four with the addition to Julianne? Not at all. I am so happy. I love having Julianne on the panel. Julianne on the panel. She's like a little sister to me. Well, that's because now you have two okay. girls up there. Now you're not the only chick, right? Thank God. It is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Can I ask you? And I realize this has nothing to do with dancing. Can I ask you about online dating? Because you're, oh boy, you're, no, seriously, your your man. You met your man on online, correct? I met my previous fiance. Okay, online, Ooh, on oh. eHarmony. Okay. Oh wow! Oh, Way to throw that wow. out there. Bad memories. 
Jeez. Sorry, my bad. No, no, not bad. There, it was actually. I have to say, <laughs> I still think that eHarmony is wonderful. What? I love. I'm one of those weird people who likes to fill out questionnaires, and they have a really long questionnaire. And I think that's why. Like Jesse and I were so compatible. We were so good together. But it just like in the end, we ended up realizing that we loved each other as friends. So I mean, there was, there was nothing. We were truly compatible. But that could be a movie. I recently met the love of my life, and he's Italian, and now I understand love in a whole different way, and it's wonderful. That- I think. That's awesome. Are good. Okay, I feel so, like that could be a movie. So okay. here's, so here's, now, was there concern when you did, when you did the online thing? Was there concern because of you being famous and, you know, f- finding someone that's going to like you because you're famous and, and whatever? Was that, was that a concern? Was that why you? It was a huge concern. So what I did was I made a post and I put no picture. And I was like, you're going to have to be interested in me without seeing what I look like. And it wasn't until we started talking for quite a while that I finally sent him a picture. And, um, of course, as soon as I sent it, he's like, oh, I know who you are. And when we finally met, because I was still afraid, like, you know, stalkers, my mom was like, you better not go on that date alone. And I was like, oh, of course not. So my friend, my girlfriend, my lesbian girlfriend, she's like, she came and rode along with us in the back seat. <laughs> so you had a, a little, A little awkward. Yeah, so you had this. So a little you, awkward. So you had, so what you're telling me is you had a, um, your, your female friend lesbian chaperone on your first date. Correct. As all, isn't that how? Hey, all- at least you know she's not gonna steal your date. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> at least you know she's not gonna steal your date. That's fantastic. <laughs> no, I, well, here's the thing. I, I tried. I tried it online, yes. and I, and I did the same thing. I did. Uh, you know, I was honest on my on my questionnaire and on my profile thing. But I used a picture that didn't have my face. Right. And um and. It, I got a little bit of oh, something, but I but I came off as creepy because I didn't have my face on it. Like I was Quasimodo, and I didn't have all my teeth and stuff. <laughs> so, so how did that work out for you? Uh, stage five cleaner. Yeah, not so good. Not so good. It's probably better just not to put a picture than to put a picture of like uh, just a part of you because it, it does look like you're kind of sh- trying to show off as like that's my best asset, my elbow, <laughs> whatever it was. It, it's, fun, it's funny. It was my <laughs> elbow. It was my forearm. You know, they're like, "What are you, Popeye?" And it was- <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Adenov of Dancing with the Stars on ABC and the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline. Follow her on Twitter at Carrie Ann Inaba. And I know you can't give, like, uh, you know, who you think is going to win and stuff like that because that wouldn't be fair. Let me, yeah, ask you, fair. let me ask you this question. Who have you been surprised by? Who was like, oh, I didn't realize that that person had that in them? Oh, you know what? I was surprised by a lot of people this year because there was a lot of names I didn't even recognize when I started the season. So a lot of people surprised me because they're, they're actually really wonderful people and it's been fun to watch them. But the biggest surprise of season 19 is um, Sadie. Nice. Yeah, the Duck Dynasty girl. And she's just, she's, I don't know, she's got something special. Like every once in a while on our show, we'll come across somebody who's got star qualities and didn't know it. And it's really fun to look at. And I was also surprised by Leah Thompson. Oh, yeah. I, I, mm. I've, I've loved Leah Thompson. Can yes. I tell you? Me too. She's just cute and agile and fun and flirtatious. And like, I, where has she been all these years? Like, I feel weird that I haven't seen a lot of her because she's so wonderful and vibrant so well, i mean that's that's part of the as far as the celebrity go that's part of the appeal of dancing with the stars is to get them back out there you know what i'm saying and you know that's that's part of the thing for for her at this point because it, it's a fantastic platform it is a fantastic platform and it's funny because now people don't even seem to care if they're going to win or not well they do once we get a little further along but right, right. they seem to pretend like they don't care as much because whether they win or not they still go on to do many more things it's great exposure for everybody Absolutely. Carrie Ann Inaba, Dancing with the Stars on ABC. Follow her on Twitter at Carrie Ann Inaba. Thank you so much for the time. we got to have you back, all right, before all right, the end of the season. Guys, take care. Absolutely. Carrie Ann Inaba, everybody. Bye-bye. We're going to break. Come back. Big Pop and Ben on Kiss FM.